how to make a math portfolio. So basically my school gave me this project, told me to create something like a math portfolio. So I thought after making this, hey, I could show you how to make your own. I could show you the formula or something. So guys, let's begin. So this is the first cover of my core math portfolio. So I've written some things, craft paper, decorated, and I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. So let's look at the first page. So here I've written maths, and what is the subject? Congruency, congruency of triangles. This is the subject, math portfolio, I've written this. So let's look at the next page this is the introduction here you write your name class section roll number subject topic and teacher's name so yeah next we go to the index so a congruency and b test for congruency now what are pages page one F F F number two F A S number three A S A number four A A S and number five R H S So let's change the page So meaning of congruency So what is the meaning of it? If two geometrical figures coincide exactly by placing one over the other, the figures are said to be congruent to each other. The symbol used for congruency is um, this or this, whatever you choose. So first let's look at the corresponding sides of this. Um, AB equals to DE, BC equals to EF, CA equals to FD, and let's look at the corresponding angles. Angle A equals to angle D, angle B equals to angle E, angle C equals to angle F. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So yeah, that's the meaning of congruency. Um, let's change the page. This is the test for congruency. So, um, SSS. This condition is known as side, side, side. This is the full form. So let's fold this, uh, fold out this. So what is it written? If three sides of one triangle are equal to three sides of the other triangle, each to each, then the two triangles are congruent. So yeah. Next page. So I've drawn a figure here next to this and Here's something written here. Triangle ABC equals to triangle XYZ by SAS. So what does SAS mean? This condition is known as side angle side. So let's fold this out gently. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to two sides and the included angle of the other triangle each to each then the triangles are congruent so I've drawn another figure for here so what does this mean triangle ABC equals to tri triangle PQR by ASA ASA this condition is known as angle side angle so I'm gonna fold out this one open this if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to the angles and the included side of the other triangle then the triangles are congruent yeah so next page yes so page four I've drawn another figure so triangle ABC equals triangle PQR by AAS. 
So yes, this condition is known as angle angle side. Let's fold this out. Um, if two angles and a side, not the included side, of one triangle are equal to angles to two angles and the corresponding side of the other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. R H S. So I've drawn a figure for it. So let me tell you what it means. So angle B equals to angle E equals 90 degree, and triangle A B C equals tri triangle C F E D by R H S. So R H S. This condition is known as right angle hypotenuse, hypotenuse actually, and side. If the hypotenuse and one side of a right angle triangle are equal to the hypotenuse and one side of another right angled triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. Page 4 for Let's go to the next page. So here I've written the acknowledgement. So this here's what I've written. I would like to express my special thanks of gratitude to my maths teacher, Mr. P. Boshu, who gave me the excellent opportunity to do this wonderful project. I came to know about so many new things. I would also like to thank my parents and friends who helped me a lot in this finishing this project within the limited time. So that's what I've made. So yeah, this is how you make a mass portfolio. The thing is over. So I hope you understood this mass portfolio. I really hope you did. And I got an A plus on this. So if you follow my steps, if my school ever gives you this project, if you follow my steps, you'll get an A plus too. So that's great. Yeah. And if I get more projects, from my school which I will probably then I'll share it with you so we can all gain something so thanks for the day share this video with your friends so they can learn this too and yeah bye